many nuances involved with the character. Yes. So it's really exciting to see people like Lima, like Mistake, uh, be able to do what they do. Uh, a lot of uh, mix up, a lot of 50 50 stuff. Uh, a lot of just like uh, intentional drops to set people yes. up. Yes, Lima, Lima does that yeah. more than, uh, well, not maybe not more than the rest, but when I first started trying to learn that yes. stuff about Bayonetta, Lima was one of the first Bayonettas I saw really taking advantage of that. Yeah, absolutely. And I love seeing that because that's something so reminiscent of some of the old days uh, stuff we saw from Alex Valle and Street Fighter Alpha, actually. So. It, again, man, the beautiful stuff, dude. We definitely got Marvel and Street Fighter in the building. So let's but go ahead. He and got more one. double Ryu. Yes, I, can't, I didn't recognize warrior. his face, but this is actually Jin teaming up with Sandstorm. Ooh. Actually had a ooh, wow. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Thoughts. And, and Sandstorm just, just the protection, just the protection of his man. <laughs> <laughs> and no yeah. Ryu left behind, man. Yeah, Sandstorm really actually gonna be interesting in this match because yeah. he was able to eliminate Captain Zack in the loose bracket. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the uh, East Coast tournaments sure. going up against another Bayonetta. Yeah. Might be just really familiar with how to deal with this character. This matchup, yeah. You can see that. Let's see, uh, this is another one of those uh, teams that I felt would give Double Ryu a lot of trouble because they're both really strong at edge guarding. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see how they play around that. Here comes Lima. Ooh. Oh. Really a wow, good DI man. on that wish twist to sneak in that back here. Even yeah, if you get the stop Oh my gosh, don't <laughs> press a button. Another unsafe uh, move on shield gets up to a show you can immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I, I, like, I like the, the way. Yeah, that was a good snipe. Arbor. <laughs> okay, we must looking to go to town for this edge guard, but nice stall there from Jin. And then uh, something I'm really liking from uh, Jin and Sandstorm in comparison to Takara, they're not really opting to go for two 1v1s. They're yeah. trying to just stay next to each other as much as they can and really try to follow up off each other. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I like the idea. He managed to take his own partner, though. But uh, this goes to show that they're not looking to just let uh, their partner just get comboed by Bayo. If they can intercept yeah. it, they, they will. Absolutely. Uh, definitely seen a, a lot of that come out of again for the most part. And uh, Sandstorm. Right with him. So these guys have been really, really aware, and I love that when you've been able to have that defense on teams. That's I think alive. especially for heavy hitters like Ryu, because at the end of the day, he's going to be able to do a, uh, quite a bit of damage on his own right. So I think it's more so important about in terms of being able to play proper defensive roles here and uh, make sure these guys don't get uh, gimped early. And boom! Ah. Oh my goodness! Arvark taking the game into his own hands. <laughs> the wrong turn in the forest, man. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the double kill and uh, bringing this, bringing this right back. Of course, both members of the red team, very dangerous percent. Mm -hmm. I know that might sound crazy considering they're both at 50 and 60, but <laughs> this is double Ryu. Yes, this is the World Warrior here. All right, Arvark getting some good damage, the tree combo into the up air. Oh, here comes wow. Lima, though, the catch. Watch the DI. Did that, did that double witch twist. Like, not help as well? Uh, it looks like it Okay, actually, you're dumb. Oh, you're so gone. dumb. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> 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 this should never work. That's why it's so good. Oh, man. So the, the reason why that's so awesome is because in certain situations like that, players get scared. And so they try to usually DI in. Yeah. And if they DI in, then that that dive kick is still going to be a thing. So I, I always love when he goes for that Dude, stuff. Dude, stage dive kick is, is crazy. Death. Yeah, it's actually madness. <laughs> it's madness. <laughs> it's it's literally if someone's like, oh, I called your buff. And then you're like, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, off in the blast zone. But I think it's a safe bet because I want to say more often than not, people are DIing in when they're, oh, uh, yeah, they're in the blast oh, zone. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's definitely a fair play, and that's why I love that, man. I love seeing that. That's, that's so a gambler's, uh, it's a gambler. Right yep. There. So, uh, snatching that game right back, Red Team were trailing for a majority of that, but that double kill from Arvark and the clutch uh, shutout stocks from Lima just really turned around. Yeah, man, that was really fun. Okay. Ooh. Wow, yeah, that's not gonna drop a great that. DI there, Marvar. Oh, oh yeah, he didn't know it was unblockable, but yeah. great uh, save there from Lima. Uh, yeah, fully charged focus actually cannot shield that. Very true. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, I, I want to say I'm surprised, but Lima SDs at least 20 times the tournament. Yeah. So <laughs> I was just, it was more just like, when was it gonna happen? Right. Of course, you don't want to drop know, a freestyle. I wonder if he thought he was just gonna land on stage, but because the actually. Um, I think it was Gen that was like standing there on the side. Oh, am I threatening him he, with his position? No, not just his position, but the fact that he, he might have moved him away. Because oh, of his, it's hurt box. It's, yeah, because it's, oh, yeah, you know goodness. what I mean? Oh, like we need the replay. <laughs> I actually need to see that. But it was a little bad match. It's Smash Bar, baby. <laughs> oh, Arvark again, looking to use that tree to uh, 
pretty much just set up a huge area of effect where a large hitbox can take out maybe two stocks. But they're playing around it really well this time. They yeah. might have noticed that. Oh, wow, wow, he just okay. got right out of there? Yeah, yeah. Did he fall off stage from the... Yes, he oh, did. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, very, very fortunate there. That's the kind of place where you can actually afford to get hit by a uh, focus set. Uh, oh, <laughs> man. You don't man. get hit by that, though. All right, I need to see at least one sure you to sure you. Okay, that's what okay, happened that last was great. time. That out of the gate, he literally. Oh no! He didn't even, he didn't even fall off the freaking platform, dude. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I, I gotta talk about that real quick. So last game, we were wondering how that happened. Yeah, he definitely destroyed you, his partner mid combo. Yeah. And called him to go higher, and exactly. then Lima followed up and killed and then him. Killed him. Yeah. He, it, it was a brave, uh, save attempt, but <laughs> nope. We have established that that does not, not work. Does not help. And Lima is well aware of it. And that kind of goes back to what you were talking about earlier, the fact that Lima is someone who will go and try to purposely drop combos. Yes. Or try to look for the, uh, read the situation appropriately so he can get some kind of reset. And that has been working for him so damn well. And that's, that's another alive. stock. Lima is the stock assassin. Of course, R is going to drop to his last as well. We got a pretty even match here. Lima's looking like he wants to shift to a more safe play. Yep. He is still. At a really dangerous percent here. Ooh. Nice no. idea there for Lima to actually force the, the team attack on both members of the blue team. Yeah. Wow, the mix-ups oh, again. Goodness. My gosh. He just keeps on flying. Perfect shield to the tree. Blue team really trying to stay together here. They know they're very close to so just dropping this set. Yeah. Oh, nice wish twist. Follows the jump. Oh my goodness, oh, good, good DI. there on the ender. Oh, that's actually um, paying off there for Lima. And yeah. I like the, what Gin is doing. He's watching Lima yes. very closely, yeah. waiting for him to land. And, and then you to, have to. You have to, because that's honestly where, like I was talking about earlier, that's the scary part for Ryu. The fact that he's the kind of character that's very susceptible to being like edge guarded, uh, being comboed if multiple characters do exist. And it's really hard for him to actually save one another. So they really have to play with that in mind. They can't yes. just go and do their own thing because if one of them gets caught in a bad position, no one can save him. All right. The guy's out on the dive kick this time. He's going to stay alive just a little bit, but next big hit is going to be dangerous. Oh, I like that. That was actually safe on power shield. Really good, strong up to. Dash attack just enough. Wow. Okay. All right, we got the 1v1. Yes, there we are. Arvar versus Jin here. Next big play is going to be the stock. I see he's on point. Jin's been playing really patiently around Villager. Oh, wow. I see love ya. it. Safe. His power shield uh, strong up to uh, punches has been immaculate. Yeah. Absolutely. And I don't see that 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 much from Ryu. It's very, very good tool. Uh, of course, his body, he's actually doing there on the windscreen as well. But uh, his up, he's upper body intangible. So it's yes. a pretty, really incredible move. It's really, really, it was definitely made with being an anti-air in mind. Really, really solid anti-air for short hops and full hops alike. And uh, yeah, do really, really love that. It's a very, very strong hitting tool. And of course, you can special cancel it. And as so, we saw at the end. Yeah, as we saw at the end, he went for a FADC. And that's something that uh, a lot of reviews have been doing a bit more. Uh, really, really strong tactic overall. Clean stuff, man. I haven't seen Jim play that much, but uh, he's showing some innovative stuff with the Ryu. And uh, I, I got to say, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Game three. Running it back to Smashville for the third game in a row. Uh, Jin and Sandstorm really been demonstrating a lot of teamwork. Oh, that throw is actually pretty dangerous from Ryu. The down yeah. throw, it, it actually can break shields. Yeah. Yeah, you have to wear the heel drop. All right, again, trying to set up a 2v1. I like that they're aware of when forcing the 1v1 isn't worth it, and you, you just support your partner exactly. you're in a dangerous spot. Uh, speaking of, uh, Lima has been just really great at doing that as well. We've seen him every single time when he sees a Ryu kind of going in. You see uh, Arbor kind of go to more shield uh, heavy kind of movement, and then afterwards Lima kind of cut rolls through and really tries to disrupt the reuse, potentially get them to actually uh, follow after him because they're afraid of what can happen to their teammate. Oh, wow. Still living here, though. Through the trees, man. That was, that was smooth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Untouchable, too. Yeah, yeah. I got the untouchable back there. Is going to be a double stock? Yep. Yeah. Get clean up from Lima. Really well done. Playing uh, much more safe this time. The times he is getting hit, but oh wow, raw tots is going to kill off the top. 
Uh, yeah, Lima, the only time he was really getting hit are uh, kind of like straight moves. Mm -hmm. He's doing a much better job of just avoiding like the raw up tilt or yeah. punishes. It's really plaguing him the last two games. Okay. Oh man, yeah. Not gonna get that FADC on the landing. Yeah, a little bit oh, too much uh, lag. I yeah. Think. Could have done a little earlier. I think he was like trying to go for level two instead of a level one, which probably could have helped him out, or just go for an aerial or something. Oh, it's a hit. Pitch a big damage here. Yep. We've seen solid DI overall, too, uh, going off of Marvark, uh, dealing with the conversions. Uh, he's DIing uh, the Nairs away, so if he does get hit off stage, then he'll get hit with the Sour Spot up there and not the Sweet Spot, of course, that will spike. Ooh. Wow. Ah. Fully charged bowling ball gonna take another stock there. Right, we're playing really safe in the ledge. Wow, the drift sneaks in the back there. Now has an edge guard position of his own, but, yep. Ooh, Jin but watch with your the, back. Yeah, Jin with the save. Again, really good team awareness. Yeah, he can't land here. He does not want to land here. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay, Shoots right to the ledge and throws out a safe hitbox yep. at the same time. Sandstorm in a little bit of trouble here off stage, but nice focus through the fair one. See if he can punish Lima on the ledge here. No, but sent off by Arvard's Void Rocket, and Arvard gets a chance for an edge guard. Ooh. Oh, it's alive. Yeah, caught Lima sneaking a little bit too close there. Sandstorm hanging on by a thread. Gets the oh, footstool and gets the and light focus. GI. Oh wow. my goodness, this guy is, is he a magician or <laughs> yeah. something? Be, Defensive <laughs> machine. Jumped through every hoop there to get back to center stage. And he's hanging on at 174% max rage. But that'll do it. All right, looking for a chance to get a snipe on Jen's last stock. All right, Demon's gotta be careful here. I really like uh, the play from Arbor. You know, he's yeah. really preserving the stock, but not staying too far back to where he's forcing him into 2v1 situations. Okay, conversion here. I'm trying to spin him back out. Yes. All right, Arbor's going to drop the last oh, no tech. tech. Oh, man, he needed that stock yeah. so bad. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The best uh, Sandstorm can hope for here is to get this stock off Lima and try to bring it back in the 1v1. It's not going to be easy at all. Not at all. Two very problematic matches for Ryu in singles. on here. Tree coming in pretty uh, pretty soon, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. dare? Yeah. Oh, oh it's still wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it. Close, uh, close out there, but really, really solid set from uh, pretty much both teams. Yeah. Uh, I want to say that stage spike at the end just decided everything. Yeah, man, that was so unfortunate for them because they were in a really good place. Um, and, you know, I got a little soft spot, not only for my Ryu's, but House of 3000, man. Shout oh, out to those guys. Yeah, of course, of course, man. Dylan, man. These guys have always been... Doing uh, work in New York out there. there. Yeah, they're doing a lot of work out there, building up their scene. But, yeah, for, uh, again, Sandstorm, I mean, they're 